Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Uh, our uh, today's topic is uh, basically uh, based on uh, a practical, uh, which is uh, about the anatomy of male and female reproductive tract in cattle and buffalo. Um, in this uh, practical, I will be uh, discussing uh, firstly about uh, the functional anatomy of uh, the female uh, reproductive, uh, uh, reproductive organs, the main features of the female reproductive tract, uh, the gross anatomy, uh, about uh, suspensory ligaments of the reproductive tract and uh, the primary sex organ that is uh, the ovary. Um, mature uh, cattle is known as uh, bovine cow and uh, the male is known as bull. It's about in, in cattle and the male which is mature in uh, buffalo, it is uh, known as bull, the same name. And uh, in buffalo, it is buffalo. So main features of the um, female reproductive tract, if we talk about uh, uh, the gross anatomy of both cow and buffalo, uh, you can see uh, on your uh, left side here that uh, it is uh, basically, it, com it, is, it consists of starting from this point, uh, ovary, and here is the oviduct, and these are, I mean, uterine horns, which leads towards uh, uh, uterus. Uh, then is uh, this portion, which is known as the cervix, and uh, the next portion is uh, vagina. Um, and at the end is vulva, which is basically the external uh, opening of uh, reproductive tract of uh, the female, um, whether it is a cow or a buffalo. So you can see here uh, in this picture, a bladder or a, and a blind pouch. So, if we uh, talk about the suspensory uh, ligaments of the reproductive tract, um, here are actually uh, three broad ligaments, uh, which are named as starting from the upper side. See on your, uh, the picture in the right uh, side. Um, is the, the upper one is mesometrium. Uh, the, and here, these suspensory ligaments, uh, the, the, the medium one, uh, or in between the upper and the lower uh, suspensory ligaments is mesosalpings. Um, and uh, the lower one, lower suspensory ligaments, which are uh, known as mesobrium, which actually are the suspensory ligaments uh, which help in, uh, in uh, the suspension of uh, the ovary. Uh, if we talk about the primary uh, sex organ, which is, uh, I have already told you, the ovary, it has uh, broader functions. Uh, it has both hormonal and uh, 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 functions and uh, produces female gametes. So um, primarily the ovary, uh, if we talk about its hormonal functions, it, 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 it secretes uh, estrogens and uh, progesterone, whereas it's a source of uh, um, I mean female gametes, which are called as oocytes. So um, you can see here the basic, uh, uh, the ovary, uh, unlike the testes, it remains in a, uh, an abdominal position throughout life. And uh, the ovary has uh, uh, 
gametogenic function that means it produces ova and uh, uh, an endocrine function which means it produces a number of hormones i already told you progesterone and estrogens so the structure um, different parts of this female reproductive tract uh, include the oviduct and uh, then uterus so i would be talking i mean uh, the general um, functions of these parts so if we come towards this portion which is oviduct the anterior um, uh, ducts, uh, end of the Mullerian ducts, Mullerian the anterior end of the Mullerian uh, ducts, it gives rise to the, the, the oviduct, the fallopian tubes or uh, uterine tubes. So uh, the oviducts are the functional links between the ovary, starting from this point, to the the uterus and the uterus, which is the site of uh, gestation. I'm not going into the details of uh, the structure of each part of the reproductive tract, but I will be introducing generally from each part. Then is uh, the uterus, uh, this one, this, this one portion, which after oviduct comes the uterine horns and lead towards the uterus point. The paired Mullerian, these are the ducts of the embryo, diffuse uh, uh, to different degrees. And the degree of fusion, it determines the type of uterus which is present in the ad adult. If there is a little fusion, uh, as uh, for example in rodents or rabbits and uh, opossums, uh, there are two separate uterine horns and two cervical openings. So uh, that type of uterus is called uh, duplex. And the other extreme is where the Mullerian ducts fuse and there are no uterine horns. So this type is known as simplex and it, it most of the time occurs in primates. For animals, they fall in between these two extremes and the type found is uh, by biconvert biconvert so these are biconvertes because they have two uterine horns and uh, i mean uh, uh, they 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 are fall into the uterus and their uh, mullerian ducts uh, um, they fuse uh, here at the, the point of uh, uterus so biconvertes then is a cervix we can see here cervix is of farm animals it's it's basically a thick walled uh, sphincter like structure that separates the um, external environment that is vagina and outside uh, from the internal environment of the uterus uh, internally the cervix of the cow has um, um, several opposing ridges which are known as annular rings or folds. So you can see here, these are folds, annular rings or folds. So, uh, but um, uh, the sole has a similar ridges, but they are arranged as interdigitated pads. The cervix plays an important role in a sperm transport and maintenance of pregnancy and parturition. So this portion of the reproductive, female reproductive tract is very important. Uh, while maintaining uh, uh, the pregnancy and parturition and the, the sperm transport. Then vagina. Vagina, it connects to the cervix, to the external uh, genitalia. The, um, uh, the penis is inserted into the vagina and the semen is then deposited at the anterior part, anterior part of the end of the vagina in the cervix. Uh, the vagina plays an important function in the mating process. So urine enters the vagina at the subureteral diverticulum and is then expelled outside the body. 
Uh, uh, then uh, I have already told you about these suspensory ligaments, which are uh, mesometrium, uh, which are the suspensory ligament of the uterus, mesoverium, which is the suspensory ligament of the ovary. And in between these two suspensory ligaments is uh, uh, the mesosalpinx, uh, the mesentery of the oviduct. Salpinx is basically is another term for oviduct. So um, I would say the oviducts, the suspensory ligaments for the oviducts. So um, thank you very much for uh, uh, listening about uh, the female reproductive uh, uh, track. So that was all about uh, uh, female reproductive track in cattle and buffalo. So next part will be about the male reproductive track in, in bulls, whether they belong to cattle or buffalo species.